everyone. My name is Francois Goos and I'm the Chief Executive of PSG Consult and I'd like to talk you through the results that we've had over the last six months um, ending 31 August uh, 2017. Uh, the bedrock of our firm is uh, our advisor network. We have 753 advisors right across South Africa and 211 offices and we service our clients from cradle to grave and over multiple generations. Uh, there's a key difference between us and uh, other financial services companies in the sense that uh, we're an advice-led firm as opposed to a product-led firm um, of most of our competitors. Uh, when one talks about PSG Consult, you always have to talk about the business characteristics and how that affects the firm. We're equity market dependent firm. And clearly, over the course of the last number of years, equity markets have not done that well, and the returns in the equity markets have been single digit. Our business is uh, heavily impacted by administration and is uh, clearly systems dependent. We are not particularly balance sheet um, intensive. Uh, we have lots of free um, cash flow. And uh, because of the large number of regulatory entities that uh, reside within PSG Consult, uh, we are quite naturally impacted by all um, regulatory change. The economic environment has been uh, very, very tough. Um, despite that difficult economic environment, the RAND actually unexpectedly strengthened during the last uh, half year. Um, uh, but then in terms of the other asset classes, returns have been uh, more or less anemic. Cash returns was uh, seven odd percent in the half year. The bond market is slightly better, just above double digit returns. Uh, the property index was relatively uh, poor, growing by only 2.9 percent. And then the equity market uh, doing 7.2 percent. I think it's important to all also look back at previous half year uh, periods and you can see uh, for, a, for more or less three years, the markets have produced very, very low uh, returns uh, and that obviously has impacted not just our company but all financial services companies. I'm very pleased with the results uh, that we've uh, produced against a very, very tough background as I've just mentioned. Our overall increase in headline earnings is up by 12%. Uh, our wealth management business grew their earnings by uh, by 7%, the asset management business by 20%, and the insurance business by 23%. In each one of these uh, businesses, we've had some headwinds, uh, which I'll talk about shortly. Uh, let's just talk about our wealth management business. I think the key line to focus on is our total managed assets. Um, that grew from 142 billion to 156 billion. Uh, we were aided uh, to some extent by the market, but then, of course, we've had very strong uh, net inflows of almost 5 billion rand uh, during that period. Uh, the other numbers there reflect non-discretionary or custody assets and third-party assets, uh, which is managed um, by the firm, leading to total assets in the firm of 300 um, and 37 billion of assets starting the year off and growing th through to 360 odd billion. I think that makes us uh, on a total asset basis one of the largest uh, wealth managers in South Africa uh, but even so our market share is relatively small we think that market share is in the order of about three or so percent uh, which means that the firm has got a lot of runway ahead of it. Just to put the flows in, uh, in context, um, our flows, as I mentioned, it was 5 billion uh, rand, uh, which compares to the previous half year of also uh, roughly uh, 5 billion rand. Uh, but again, one needs to look at this against a very, very tough uh, market backdrop. And I think I'm very pleased with, uh, with the results that we've achieved uh, against that uh, ma market backdrop and it's testimony to the quality of our advisors, but also the growth of advisors that we've seen um, over the last number of years. Uh, just to talk about those uh, advisors, um, in the last half year, um, our advisors increased by 12, um, from 515 to um, 527. 
and you can see that over a very long period of time we've ha had very consistent growth in terms of our overall advisors but what I'm particularly pleased about is not just the growth um, in advisors but also the quality of advisors that are joining uh, PSG I think the key difference uh, in terms of PSG um, is that our advisors have the best of both worlds in the sense that uh, we take care of the administration, marketing, the systems, risk and compliance, finance and so on, and they can spend uh, the majority of their time in front of clients um, taking care of our client needs. Let's just briefly talk about the asset management business. Again, a terrific business within PSG Consult. I draw your attention to look at total assets under management, 33 uh, billion, growing to uh, over 36 uh, billion rand. And again, the market movement that we've had um, of just over half a billion rand and net flows of just under 3 billion rand. We administer at assets on behalf of our multi-manager which means that the asset management business in total has assets under administration of 85 billion, growing to 93 billion during this period um, under review. Uh, it's a terrific business um, uh, which we manage, and the results here I'm particularly pleased with against the backdrop of very, very difficult markets. Um, we've grown assets, and despite the fact that uh, performance fees were down by 28% uh, during the half year, our earnings as a consequence of the net flows that we've had increased uh, by almost 20%. Yeah, you can see the flows of the asset management business, um, very consistent over the last uh, 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 four quarters. Um, and I, again, a testimony to the fact that increasingly this business is regarded as, as uh, one of the significant players in the asset management market in South Africa. Uh, investors frequently say to us, what is the investment performance and how does that compare against competitors? And here we just show, uh, you know, one, three, six month returns, one year returns, three year returns, five year returns and 10 year returns. Uh, we as a management group tend to pay attention to the three to five year benchmarks. We look at the longer term and we at PSG, um, you know, believe that uh, the longer term is, is what one should use as a benchmark for returns. And there you can see um, that over all categories and all funds, uh, you know, we are in the top quartile. A most pleasing uh, result. Let's talk about our insurance business. We invested very heavily in our insurance business uh, over the last while, um, starting in 2012 and 2013. And you can see the effect that this has had in terms of the growth of overall premiums. Uh, in these numbers, we show Western, our insurer, our administration business, but also our distribution business. And fairly consistent and rapid growth over a very long period of time since our initial investment. Uh, this just shows you our advisors um, in terms of uh, growth over the period. It looks like these grow, uh, the advisors have been flatlining during this period, but it's important to note that um, uh, when we started this business, there was a fairly heavy focus on the personal line side of the business. That's a brutally competitive area in the market, and we've gradually migrated that to focus on the commercial end of the market, where expertise and experience matter a great deal. And that shift... Um, has meant that over time our advisors have stayed consistent, which I actually think against the backdrop of a very competitive environment, um, you know, is, is, is most pleasing. Also, what we've announced uh, in late February is the acquisition of 102 advisors from uh, commercial and industrial advisors uh, from the APSA group. Um, and we've also alongside that um, acquired 32,000 uh, clients. This is a step change in terms of our commitment to the advisory market on the short-term insurance side, but completely consistent with a longer-term strategy uh, of focusing on the commercial um, end of the market. Uh, just to look at Western, which is our insurer. Um, so again, uh, the profile of uh, growth has been very, very consistent over a very long period of time. 
And particularly pleasing is the net underwriting result um, of 7.4% against an environment um, of uh, the, the, the fires that we've had in Neisner and also the floods um, that we've seen in the, in the Cape uh, province. So um, a, a, a tough environment, but um, despite that tough environment, earnings um, in the overall insurance business uh, continued to accelerate at a rate of 23% uh, uh, during this period. You know, we at uh, PSG Consult, uh, people always say to us, uh, what do we care about? How do we evaluate the firm in terms of, of its overall performance? And uh, when we on the board look at our results, we always look at recurring revenues. We always look at uh, uh, the margin, which we're making in terms of our individual businesses. And then we always compare overall uh, returns on equity uh, to the actual underlying risk that we take in the business. And if you look at through those uh, three categories, as you can see in the recent quarter, our performance fees are a proportion of headline earnings is at its lowest level. As I've mentioned earlier, our performance fees have dropped by almost 28% during this quarter. And in the context of the firm, performance fees are actually de minimis. Uh, in terms of operating margin, in a very, very tough environment, our operating margin uh, increased from 14.3 to 14.4%. And even if you take out performance fees, um, the actual operating margin increased from 13.5 to 13.8. And I think that um, goes to um, great credit of our business model, the advisors that work in the firm, and of course also to management who've uh, operated um, in these conditions and yet uh, continue to um, increase our margins. And that, of course, is also true in relation to the cost to income ratio, which is reduced from uh, above 63% to, uh, to virtually 62%. I think these are most pleasing results, and I think the board is, well, the board is very pleased with them. And then finally, in terms of uh, return on equity, uh, the retention uh, in terms of uh, uh, earnings is uh, roughly 60% um, in any uh, given period. And despite the retention of a large component of our earnings, the return on equity has maintained a level, whether um, we look at it with or without a performance fees above uh, 20%, which is a result that uh, you know we are uh, most pleased about. So in conclusion, I mean, I think it's a, it's a very solid a uh, set of results from PSG Consult, which has um, been the hard work of uh, many different people, um, including our advisors, uh, the loyalty of our customers, and we as a management group and a board of directors are completely committed to continue to invest in all of our businesses and to deliver an excellent outcome, uh, not just for our shareholders, but also for our individual uh, customers. Thank you very much.